Hello everyone and welcome to episode 54 of my K-pop Discovery series. Today is all about history, ATBO and ACMO. So um, a couple of things before I dive into today's episode. I, as you can tell, things are a little bit different on the channel and that's just because when I get to know an artist for the first time, I like to focus on the music and the music first. That's how I pick my biases. That's how I decide if I'm going to invest into a group or not because, you know, um, I feel like visuals, they are a cool little bonus on top of great music. If I don't connect with the music, it doesn't matter how great the music video is, the stage are, I'm not going to get it. So I'd rather fall in love with an artist based on their music and then enjoy the other stuff that we get on top of that than the other way around. And it never happens to me that I just watch a music video and I'm like, oh my God, I want to be into this group or this artist never because one it's confusing to me i can never focus on one thing if i'm following the song i miss out on the visuals if i'm following the visuals i'm missing out on part of the song because i like to understand what i'm listening to and um you know I rather just listen to the music, check out what they're talking about, what the album was about, and, you know, get to know an artist that way, and then go back to other stuff. Also, because I am checking out three brand new groups to me, I am making three song recommendations by artists that I love and adore, or just songs that I may be obsessed with at the moment. Today, recommendation um, songs are all from BTS members and BTS as a group. So it's a BTS special in terms of recommendations. So let's start with the first recommendation of the day, My Time by JK. The first recommendation of the day, My Time by JK. So first for today, I checked out History and I listened to their debut album, Dreamer. And that was really good. Oh, I loved it. I wish there were more songs though. There were only like three songs on there and oh, it was a little bit frustrating because I was having such a great time that I didn't want it to end um, the vocals. That's what stood out to me the most out of this entire project, vocals. And I am all for, you know, vocals sometimes, well, not sometimes, most of the time I am a rap girl person, but there's something about great vocals that always get to me. And this was the standout when it comes to the specific album. Like I enjoyed all the songs, the production, the melodies and everything, but the vocals are what is really just 
on my mind stuck to me it's like this was a great introduction to them i love it this is how you make a first impression the album is so good and it just left left me wanting more i was like oh i have to dive into this discography immediately because it was that good so i love the vocals at the same time though because there's only so many songs that you can listen to this project i feel like I started gravitating towards one particular song. So I would enjoy the album and then listen to one song most of out of it. Like even when I listen to the album, I will listen to the specific song maybe five or six times before I can listen to anything else. Like I am just addicted. I love it. And that's my favorite, The Last Time. Three minutes. first impression this song is so good oh i love it um uh, it immediately went into my um in my feels playlist i love the song i just like to just sit there close my eyes and enjoy every time i listen to it so i'm really looking forward to what this 
series has in store for me and just what the discography is going to turn out um being like what is going to be my favorite album my favorite song so i'm really intrigued let me know in the comments how you fall in love with history what's your number one song and album as well as who's your bias or your bias line the next recommendation of the day is Filter by Jimin. That was a little bit of filter by Jimin. The next artist I checked out for today was Atbo, and I checked out their album The Beginning Flowering. So this was a very interesting album to listen to. Um you know, there are so many different vibes within the album. I love the energy. But like I constantly found myself intrigued throughout the entire album. I was like confused, but the best kind of confused you can be, you know, um, because the songs on here, sometimes they will give you a certain vibe. But by the end of the song, that's not at all what you expected the song to be. And it just kept happening and happening. So I found this album very interesting. I love when artists just confuse me with the music, you know, not because I don't like it, but because I like it so much, I cannot define it. This is exactly what happened there. It's like some of the songs on there, they're so amazing, but I could not tell you what was going on for most of the time. I was just so sucked into the music, the moment, and just the feeling of it that I just cannot put into proper words just what <laughs> that feeling is so i enjoy this a lot um like i said the energy the melodies are really good the production is insane and you know there is potential for me to be addicted to this group but it's too early to tell i see the potential i need maybe two or three albums to see if you know this is something um that will stick or you know it's just um an obsession that is for now you know um because right now all i want to do is just consume more music and see where things go but there's definitely potential for me to be addicted to this group now the songs on here are really nice however i feel like this is one of those albums where there is the star and then the rest and the star is my favorite graffiti <laughs> Paint out, paint out, tell you this doesn't turn out. 
I love this. It's so good. I'm telling you, this is just on a different level compared to the other songs on the album. It's the vibe. It's the funk of it. It's just so good. Oh, I adore it. The production is insane. All the little details, you know, all the different elements, um, the way they sing gravity with the harmony graffiti oh my god with the harmonies and everything i love this song it's just so good it's super super catchy and it is the song of the album let me know in the comments how you thought about this album who is your album bias what's your number one song and album by them and which era do you think i'm going to enjoy the most the last recommendation of the day is Dimple by BTS. <laughs> And that was Dimple by BTS. Now, the last group that I checked out for today was ACMU. And this was interesting because I'm very familiar with ACMU. They have collaborated with a lot of artists that I personally listen to. So it's like going into their music for the first time, but still not the first time because I've heard them before. And um, I've heard Suyeon's personal work so i'm very familiar with just a work i mean alien was just a masterpiece i think to this day few songs compared to that song like she really really did her thing on that song so now i was just super excited to finally dive into atmu as a group just um seeing listening to their discography and you know just enjoying myself now the album that i listened to was play and it was honestly really great it, it was just so good. I personally feel, though, that the first half of the album is definitely absolute perfection. I mean, from Give Love to Artificial Grass, it's just hit after hit after hit. Like, they were just on a roll. You know, the rest of the songs don't hit me, Little Star anyway, Idea, Galaxy. They're really nice songs, but I feel like compared to just the 
excellency that is that first half of the album there's definitely a difference for me anyway but like the entire album is really good it's just that little portion is absolute perfection now i love the fact that they complement each other so well their vibe is perfect and they just know how to bring out the best in each other i love the fact that um we have so much versatility in terms of what they can do so now when you listen to an album of theirs it's very diverse in terms of sound because they're so versatile they can literally try so many different um sounds and melodies and um play around with the music that they put out which i really enjoy the vocals are something else and like I said, Sion is a very, very powerful vocalist, one of the best in the entire industry. And um, I just love what this is. You know, um, there's a lot of people that have beautiful voices out there in the world, but there's something, it's something to have a beautiful voice. And then there's something to have a beautiful voice with a little bit of extra on top of it. And that's what they have. They have that it factor, that magic formula that just turn any song into a hit. And I really enjoy that. Now, when it comes to my personal favorites, I have three of them on this album. Number three is Give Love. Why, baby? Moga Monjaya, baby? Hey, one. Anyone, please? I'm so sad. Let me come into your mom. Hey, so good uh it's really just addictive you know it's a type of song that is so easy to listen to it's just a song you can listen to for hours and hours without getting tired of it like every time you go back to the song you find something new that you missed 
in your previous listen and also that's how they open the album this obviously lets you know that you are in for a great time it just sets the scene for all the greatness that is about to happen now number two is idea And that's my second favorite. I love this song. Um, I love the energy. This one is a bit buncier. Um, I love it. It always just brings a grin to my face. It just makes me very happy, which is why I love it so much. And now it's time for the star. The best song on the album, Melted.
수하던 파란 바다 그 깊이 모든 옛 온기를 받아 본다 Too late, get it out 어린 들 세상 주위도 풀렸으면 해 어렸던 사랑이 이젠 주위로 흘렀으면 해 my favorite song oh this one just tugs at my heart strings every time i listen to it it just moves me and there's nothing i love more than an artist that can just make me emotional just by them singing i don't need to know what the lyrics are saying i don't need to know what the song is about just them singing is already just moving me and i love i love when an artist makes me feel that way this is the best song on the album it's my favorite and i really enjoyed it i'm so super excited to dive into their discography like i said i'm very familiar with suyan and her work so now it's so exciting to experience suyan the group member it's just <laughs> so interesting to me um and also getting to know more about chanyok is always something great you know um i've not listened to his personal music but you know after i'm going to be done with the group music i definitely intend on diving more into his solo releases as well so now let me know in the comments how you fell in love with akmu um what's your favorite song and album by them and if you want to enjoy this journey with me just stick around and bye